set. The Revenge of the Sith toy line. ATRT with ATRT driver. And it supposedly has real walking action. So I'll check that out in a bit. But anyways, like I said, this is from the 2005 Revenge of the Sith toy line. Making this like, what, 17 years old now? Which is crazy. This ATRT is old enough to drive a car. found it at a sort of comic and collectible shop called Forbidden Planet in New York. I got it for $30, which I think is a pretty reasonable price. I feel like in, you know, 2022 has bro charge like 50 bucks for this thing so I honestly wasn't too upset with 30 so it takes two double A's and I have come armed with two double A batteries Hopefully it still works. It like kind of walks along. I would imagine it does. Like, you know, there's no battery in there to sort of degrade. It's just wires and motors. So it, I'd imagine it works, but we'll have to see. Um, so anyways, there's the front of the box. Not much on the sides. Some content. Let's see. Join the battle. The Republic forces use ATRT. All terrain recon transport vehicles for reconnaissance and ground support. Lightweight and maneuverable, they walk on long legs and are controlled by specialized clone troopers with distinctive armor. someone I mean Obi-Wan <laughs> um, so anyways I've always really liked the ATRT both as we see in Revenge of the Sith and you know throughout the Clone Wars I think it has a lot of really cool scenes and I love like the 501st ATRTs on Umbara they kind of advance up the battlefield as sort of the vanguards. Pretty cool. So, definitely excited to have this. Hopefully it works. Let's go ahead and break this 
sale here. If I like the way this looks, I might buy a few more. Since they seem to be fairly cheap, you know, like 30 bucks, so it'd be cool to have a couple of these. So you can have like, you know, multiple ATRDs. Or a, you know, army type thing. I've also, there's some pretty dang good files of ATRDs that you can purchase. So I've been thinking about, you know, downloading it or buying it and then uh, printing some out either in 375 or 6 inch scale and trying to paint it myself. I think that could be really cool. And then you can paint it with 501st and whatnot. necessary just to cause me pain as I try to reach my fingers into there to remove this twist tie why so glad that like modern DVC and black 
series figures don't have any sort of twist ties. They're just, you know, in the plastic. Like this has tape, plastic, and twist ties. And you really have to fight with it to get it out, so I love unboxing these, but at the same time, it brings back the horrors. <laughs> This just come from. Oh, looks like the toe fell off. That's weird. It doesn't seem to be broken, but it is kind of loose in there. Um, not a big deal. Nothing some glue can't fix. Got more wires. Okay, let's start with the figure. So, it looks pretty good. Again, keep in mind that this is 17 years old. Um, and I think the sculpt is pretty reasonable. I really don't like that it has sort of a label on the back, but hopefully... Yeah, okay. I think it's mostly in it when he sits down. So not that big of a deal. Um, the sculpt looks good. It could probably use with a bit of weathering. Maybe I'll try to give it like a wash or something. That might be kind of cool. Um, but it looks reasonably good. Paint applications look good. Um, the articulation is of course very very minimal um kind of because they went with him just to be in the etr depots the sitting pose so not a huge deal i would have liked it to be a regular figure that just has enough articulation to sit like this which i honestly think a regular figure would be able to but not a huge deal um so spin. You can't look up and down. Arms rotate at the shoulder. No elbow. And they don't go out. And then the hips do rotate. And I think that's about it. So, very simplistic articulation. Um, but, of course, he's just meant to himself onto the walker. And not really do much else, which he seems to do that reasonably well. So he does sit on it quite nicely. So that's good. Um, oops, sorry. And I do think that looks pretty dang awesome with him on it. So let's check out the walker and then we'll put in the batteries and test it out. Okay, so at the front we have The pivoting gun, which also seems to rotate. Oh, it's like, it's on like a ball, so it pivots in all directions. So, decent. There's the front. The toe fell off again. I'll leave that off for a minute. There's the front. The sides, there is some exposed screw heads, um, which, you know, isn't ideal, but also not a huge um, issue aesthetics-wise. Um, my only major complaint 
is the back. I, I think I'll put a picture on screen right now, but this is kind of like more of an engine looking section. And on this, it's just a rectangle. Um, you know, of course, for the battery and the motor. So I can see why they did that, but I would have liked a bit more detail, maybe a, more of a sculpt here rather than just like a blunt rectangle um, sculpt on the legs. Looks pretty good. Um, and they seem to have weathered the feet here and kind of given it like a um, like a ready reddish texture like dirt which it looks okay I don't hate it um, again there's a lot of detail here which is kind of like not really brought out um, I'm wondering if you kind of passed a, a wash across this whole thing I wonder how good it would look maybe I I could try that. Like I said, these are only 30 bucks. So they're not like crazy expensive sort of collector pieces. Not yet at least. Um, so maybe I'll buy, buy a few for army building and also try and give it a wash. But, you know, despite my minor complaints, overall, it does look pretty dang cool. Sorry, I keep putting it off screen. Um, it is an ATRD. So, like I said, I love them, and it looks pretty dang awesome. And I think it'll look really good on the shelf. And then it's bent here. Probably can bend it back with some hot water, or maybe just by hand. Yeah, I'll fiddle with it later. Um, okay, so... Let's see. It came with. Here's the instruction manual. Not a ton to say there. But they do have this little advertisement sheet, which is kind of cool to look at. Um, so these are kind of more stylized. Super interested in that, but these are all kind of the 375 inch figures. So we got Obi Wan, Anakin, which looks absolutely nothing like Anakin. I don't know who that is, but it's not Anakin Skywalker. Yoda, and Chewbacca. Again, another Anakin who is absolutely not Anakin. Palpatine. Speeder, Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Starfighter, General Grievous, Clone Trooper, Mace Windu, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, that Obi-Wan actually looks pretty good, and a battle droid. So there's that. Okay, now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's see if this thing still works. Just, uh, or I, I got it out of the Iron Man. I got it out of the Iron Man hot toy. There's the back. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the batteries in. Do some sort of 
so <laughs> not exactly the uh, high speed recon walker that we all know and love that bounds across the battlefield but it does work um, I'll give it that and it doesn't really travel in a straight line either maybe we could chuckle it up to the toes I don't know maybe it's like throwing it off balance or something but I like aimed it that way and it ended up going that way so hey at least it works shall we try one more time Let's see if we can get it to go. It's like a turtle race or whatever. <laughs> From one side of the screen to the other. No, unfortunately, it looks like the Republic has uh, suffered a crushing defeat today. I want to try to get the feet. Um, um, oh, and actually, I forgot to mention this. I guess to make the, the thing more stable, it does have, like, these kind of outriggers, which I don't love. Um, and some pads at the bottom, so that kind of hurts the aesthetic a little bit. Anyways, like I was saying, it works. It's, uh, it's a little gimmicky, I won't lie. Um, kind of neat to see it walk around a little bit. But it's not nothing super extraordinary. Um, and I'll honestly probably just take the batteries out and use it as a display piece um, on the shelf. But the batteries do add a ton of weight to it, which is interesting. Um, but anyways, maybe I'll try to give this thing a wash. I think there's a decent amount of good detail in here. And I think it could look really good if you bring it out with some contrast. Um, and like I said, maybe sometime in the future, I'll try to print one from like screen accurate files. It has like, you know, a proper section back here. Uh, some people on Instagram have designed them. I'll, uh, I'll try to put some on screen right now if I remember. Um, but those are pretty awesome. And people have made some really cool stuff. So maybe I'll give my hand at that. But for the time being, I'm pretty happy to have this. And overall, I think it looks pretty cool. So um kind of a, a low-key video for today um but next week will be a new lore episode um so look forward to that and i'll talk to you guys then but if you want to see more 375 inch vehicles i'll put a link in the description to a republic gunship that i unboxed um a little while ago thanks for watching <laughs>